Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another celebrity reading. And this time it's on Travis Barker and Kourtney Kardashian. So there are allegations that they got married um, in Vegas. Now I'm pretty sure they just did all that for attention. Um, but we're going to go ahead and see what's going on with the relationship. I did a reading on them like 11 months ago. I'll put it up here, link up here. Um, so we'll kind of see what's going on with their relationship and see how it's going and see all that stuff. I know there are rumors that she might be pregnant. Um, I feel like she probably put those rumors out herself because that's what the Kardashians do, but we'll see. So remember these rings are all alleged for entertainment rumors only and let's get started. Okay. She's on the left. He's on the right. So he's the reason why they're moving so fast. It's not her, it's him. I could tell you that. The Eight of Wands is upright. So Eight of Wands is rapid pace and rapid change. Um, I see him as extremely spontaneous, extremely pushy, um, very erratic. Um, his energy, the Eight of Wands, that makes me feel like, you know, like when someone has ADHD and they're all over the place, it's like big kid energy. So that's kind of what I see. I see him being the one pushing for things. I see the, him being the one wanting to move on, move, move on. Oop move really fast not move on um i just feel like it's like speed it's like it's very quick and it's just like a lot of energy it's like i don't sleep you know i'm on a million milligrams of adderall like all over the place you know it's like giving me very that anyways um she showed up as the ace of swords which is regrets and missed opportunities and the three of wands is reversed which is about other people so if I'm going to be honest with you, do I think that they like each other? Yeah. I think that a part of her misses someone, though. I don't know who this is. I don't really follow Courtney like that, so forgive me for not really knowing what the hell's going on. But there's another person that she still thinks about. And, excuse me, it's the truth. I think for her, there's still... She still holds a candle for this person. The three of wands is reversed, which there's a part of her that feels like she needs saving from them. The three, the knight of swords is reversed, which means no one saved me. No one wanted to save me. I needed to be saved. And the six of pentacles, there was no accountability for your actions. There was no like consistency. And the high priestess is trust and healing, which is like, oh, this connection, I feel like he actually does what he says. I'm not used to that. He actually falls through with things. So I think for her, the reason why she's enamored by him is because for once he actually does what he says. But the problem that she's not realizing is that she's living her life through his eyes. So right now everything is going smoothly and he's doing everything he says he's going to do because she's doing everything that he wants her to do. And I need her to be a little bit careful because with the three of wands, that means that if you don't follow what I need you to follow, I can find someone else to follow me. She's definitely not the leader. And I think a part of her enjoys not being a leader for a change because I think she's a little bit more of a dominant person. She's an Aries, I believe, so that makes sense. But she's not going to be able to be in this position happy for too long. And to me, this seems more like her trauma or her, her past pain causing her to choose a relationship rather than her love for that person. Because I'm not seeing this as like, I love you and I want to be with you. I see this as like, I needed a hero and you're the hero. Like she needed a hero in her story. Um, I also think with the Knight of Swords, she's kind of used to men that aren't exactly the most morally sound. And so I think for her, the bar is a little bit lower than it should be in terms of moral compass. Um, I think, I mean, obviously she likes bad boys, but I just feel like for her, there's, there are certain things that she's overlooking that are huge red flags, um, that are going to be a problem later on in their connection. Um, and, and the thing is, is like, I can see Courtney's not, how do I word this? It's not that she doesn't see these things. She's actively choosing to ignore it. Because she wants her happily ever after. Um, oh, shit. The king of swords is upright and the queen of swords is reversed. So one person's upright, one's reversed. I mean, that's literally what I just said. He is getting what he wants. I see him as a selfish person who's going to get whatever he wants. And I see her in reverse because she's kind of getting knocked off her pedestal. I also see that as like the minute she starts being kind of rude or a little bit bitchy or demanding, this is going to go a different way. 
So hopefully they can work this out. I mean, I, I hope that they can work it out and be happy. But this, this energy doesn't fool me. You know, they may be able to fool the public in terms of it being a perfect relationship. I don't buy it, um, especially because the judgment card's upright. And the judgment card is about the public. And this is something I've seen in all my Kardashian readings. And so because I've done so many readings on them, I can identify this. For some reason, and I don't know if it's Kris Jenner or what, these the women in the Kardashian family are so obsessed with saving face that they accept things that they shouldn't. The judgment card is the public. And it's like I care so much about the pressure from the public that I'd rather grin and bear it. I dug this hole, I'll lay in it, than get out of it. Like once they make their decision, they don't go back because of this because they don't want the public to like – know or to humiliate them and i don't know why they're all like this but they're all like this every last one of them this is the same energy that was in chloe's it was in kim's it was in kylie's this has been in all of their energy and it, that kind of frustrates me especially because the queen of swords is like i can't speak my truth i can't say what i want to say i also see them having and this is just uh, again, uh, this is what I see. I see them all having this submissive mentality that they're supposed to have with men. Like I see them thinking they're supposed to be more traditional or more submissive. I don't know why they're like this. But all the Kardashians are the exact same way where they fall into the submissive feminine role. Excuse me. And that's also why I see a lot of problems with love for them because they're dominant women. Why are you trying to force yourself into a submissive position? You're a dominant woman. So I think that they're... There's a little bit of trauma with that. The Seven of Swords is a victory. The Eight of Cups is a verse. And the Ten of Wands is a verse. I'd be shocked if they didn't threaten to break up before or like have some time apart or something. Because to me, the Seven of Swords is a victory no matter what, which means I'm following through with this plan no matter what. We're going to get married no matter what. We're going to be together no matter what. But the Eight of Cups reverse and the Ten of Wands has to be a threat to leave um, and something that's not worth it. So to me, there has to be some sort of fight that happened or will happen or a consistent fight, um, which is probably why we're seeing so much PDA to like make up for it. Um, but yeah, there's a botting of heads there consistently. It's giving very off and on energy. That doesn't mean that it is off and on, but it means that they're not always connecting the way that they look, like the way that it appears. Um, yeah, tower. How they started is problematic. So I don't know how they got together, but however they got together is fucking problematic as fuck because the tower is upright, which means the structure and the foundation in which is built is faulty. So I don't know if he was talking to someone else or she was talking to someone else or what it was, but however they started, this relationship started is a little shady and a little fucked up. Empress is upright and Knight of Cups is reversed, um, which is like trying to move past that and pretend like that's not a thing. Um, but it is a thing and that will come up at some point and this will be exposed um, and it will cause a lot of problems and it will cause people to talk about this. However they got started, there's something shady there, whether someone was cheating or someone was being messy or what the hell it was. All I can tell you is there's some mess in the beginning of this relationship and that will be exposed soon because you can't hide this forever. Um, no. And it's not like you can pay anybody off for that anyways. Um, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, whatever. I won't say anything because they're not going to last that long anyways. But then they end up lasting a long time and you're building resentment and frustration. And you're like, are you fucking kidding me? It'd be like, oh, you, I was dating him first. Are you fucking kidding me? I was fine with it because you guys are going to break up soon anyways. But if you're really going to go all the way, everyone needs to fucking know what the fuck you were doing. And the Six of Cups is a verse too, which means there's some sort of issue with children. So I don't know if like there's been any arguments about like his children, her children, or time spent there, but there's definitely some sort of issue with like parenting or time spent with children. Uh, perhaps maybe one child is treated differently. I'm not sure. Um, Empress though is interesting. So we were asking about pregnancy. Empress is upright. So... I mean, I do see her wanting to be pregnant. Oops. I do see her wanting to be pregnant. Um, <clears throat> I can't really say for certain if she is pregnant. 
Perhaps not yet. I'm not really sure, though. But the sun is reversed, the four of cups is upright, and the queen of pentacles, which is if she does get pregnant, that's when all of her skeletons will fall out of her closet because then it, shit's going to get real. Um, queen of pentacles reversed, though. Hmm. Okay. I see Travis on a high. Okay. Let me explain to you what Travis's energy is like. You know, when someone is like bipolar and they're having a manic episode and they're really excited and they're really happy, they're spending a ton of money, they're really excited, they're in a whirlwind romance, and then there's a crash. That's what his energy makes me feel like because the Ace of Pentacles is all the money he's earning. The Page of Pentacles are all the expectations that he's reaching. And the Five of Wands is him chasing all of this super hard. He's in a really good peak of his career again. You know, he was kind of plateauing and then he hit a high again. And I see him on a high. And I see him doing things that remind me of like what a manic person would do, where he's just going to like spend the money here, date the person here, do this, be this, be this. And then once he fucking crashes, and he will crash, once he crashes, there it is, once he crashes, I don't know if Courtney is really going to know the person that she's been with. Like, she doesn't actually know the real him. The Knight of Pentacles is consistency and the Two of Swords is reversed and the World Reverse. The World Reverse would be like like um, the ending of a cycle. So that would be him finally getting out of this high. And the Two of Swords is a separation, which means he has a habit of destroying everything when he does this. Like when he's back on a lull, he has a habit of destroying everything and separating and replacing and removing. And I think that there's a side to him that she does not know and she hasn't seen. And I think a part of her is like, oh, well, like I've seen everything because I've been with him for so long. But I don't think she realizes how long this state for him lasts. Yep. He's very good at proving himself, though. He is going above and beyond to make himself look a certain type of way. In his head, he's like, I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. I'm not going to do what I did in my past relationships. I've changed. But I don't know if that's going to last. The Six of Wands is a verse in the Eight of Swords, which is like... Once one thing falls apart, everything else will. He's like a house of cards, and once the the bottom card gets pulled out, it'll all crumble. So, oh God, the two of cups. He has a consistent girl. Well, I guess I shouldn't say girl because I don't know what he's into, but um, he has a, a, a consistent person that he hits up when he's at a low point, and he's done this for years. Um, I don't think he's hit this person up yet, but I think that he will because the wheel of fortune is there. The strength card is stubbornness and two of cups. This is someone that either doesn't want him or they're not in like an actual relationship or never been in an actual relationship. I can't really tell. All I can tell you is like, it's a weird connection. It could be a friends of benefits, but I feel like it's just someone in the industry that he like, or maybe not in the industry. It could just be someone that he knows that he runs to when things go bad. It's someone he hooks up with. Has he had issues with drugs before? I actually should have checked. I don't actually know if he did or he didn't. Five of Cups reversed. Devil. Five of Pentacles reversed. Uh-oh. So devil card, the reason why I asked that is devil card can be addiction. And the five of pentacles is abuse of power. And the five of cups is um, predicting disappointments. The king of pentacles affecting career through swords, heartbreak, page of cups reversed. If he gets bad news, he has a habit of falling into a spiral. But I'm looking at this and I'm a little bit worried because if there is a history of substance abuse, he's the type to abuse his power positions in his career when he's using 
if there already is. If there isn't pre-existing addiction issues, then the devil card and the five of pentacles means that he has the potential to get drunk on power. So hopefully he can avoid this. Obviously avoiding this proper, proper, you know, support systems. He needs to have people who check him, keep him in balance. The problem is, is that there's a king of pentacles here. Okay. Potential earth sign, but there's a king of pentacles here who I see him having an issue with, who has a habit of keeping him in line. <laughs> and I don't know if they both share like a substance abuse issue or some sort of drama, but there's definitely someone here who keeps him in line, who I see him having an issue with. The Page of Cups is a separation here or a detachment. The Three of Swords is, it's like a mini heartbreak. It's not like a full blown, essentially someone he works with. I wonder if like, there might be an issue because that might be, that's a bad bitch, but that could also be Courtney or potentially someone around this guy, beautiful woman around this guy, I can't really tell, but there's issues, five of swords or worse. Perhaps it's like business gone wrong or perhaps one person's calling the other person out on some sort of addiction issue. All I can tell you is I see them having a little bit of a fight and I see them that being a catalyst for some problems. The Ten of Swords is self-sabotage. Um, so I'm seeing them have like a little bit of a tiff, a little bit of a fight or disagreement. And I think that might be like the beginning of his the the beginning of his spiral. I'm wondering if there's a a woman that doesn't like the King of Pentacles, or if there's a woman, another woman that doesn't like Travis. Has something to do with a girl, though, in her opinion. Damn. I mean, I hope that they can figure this out and be happy, but it doesn't look like the best relationship right now. So, yeah. I don't see her letting go of this, though. She's not going to stop unless he stops. The only way they'd break up is if he's the one that does it, so... Good luck. That's what I see for Miss Courtney and Travis. If you like that tip, there's a link to my video below. Follow me, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, Aphrodite. I've been doing vlogs on TikTok, so you need to check those out. Um, until next time, bye, guys.